Hello viewers! In this video I am going to show you how to use the new QR code stack in the platform framework. As you can see I've already placed the platform settings stack onto our screen, on our project, as well as the QR code stack. Uh, the QR code stack by the way you can find under platform elements and here it is. Uh, let's turn our attention straight away to the QR code stack and um, let's scroll straight to the QR code settings. And first of all we have uh, two modes. The first one is a text mode and the second one is the vCard mode. In text mode you can uh, enter any kind of text in this, into this value field. Uh, it is advisable to, for example, put in a URL. And um, in this case, as you can see, in preview mode, this uh, URL is being encoded. Um, by the way, if you uh, expect the QR code to change re uh, respectively to what you are seeing or setting in uh, the inspector, uh, in edit mode it's unfortunately not possible to reflect this. This, what we see here, is just a, a sample image. Now back to our two modes. The second mode which we have is vCard mode. And um, here you can enter all kinds of information which you might already know from any kind of vCard, uh, for example, of the Contacts app in macOS. So if you scan this code, uh, once you enter proper values here, the, your app on the iPhone will, or the Android phone, whatever you use, uh, will immediately propose to add it to your Contacts. If you have the text mode chosen and you scan the code, it will immediately ask whether it should open this URL in the browser. Very convenient. All right, um, just a quick uh, demonstration what it, uh, what it changes. This is uh, quite an interesting change. If we go over to vCard, the barcode or the QR code becomes really, really much more complex. So let's go back to v, uh, text mode because we have a little bit more space on our screen and have a look at the other options which we have. First up there is the render mode, you have three. One is canvas, one is image and the last one is SVG. Uh, image is quite cool because you can drag and drop that QR code into any other uh, application or uh, onto your desktop and have it saved as a PNG which is quite convenient. Next up is the size. Uh, here we have uh, sizes between 100 and uh, 1000 pixels. Uh, 1000 pixels is considerably big and 100 pixels might be just what you need. I don't know. That's why I set the default to 400 pixels. All right. Next up is the alignment. You can have here the horizontal alignment left, center, or right, what we see here. Let's go to center. And then next up we have the uh, version setting. This is an internal versioning of the QR code itself and you should leave that on its default value unless you really have to change it to something else according to some kind of documentation or you know what you're doing. So next up is the error correction level, EC level. There we have four levels from low to high, and you might need to set this to a higher error correction level. For example, if you either have a very complex V-card, or it is very small, or if you, for example, use an overlay, like uh, which we're going to discuss in a few minutes. Then we have the fill color and the background colors. Uh, basically, the fill color sets everything which is dark, like if I want to set what is right now in black, I want to set this into a blue or uh, make it green or whatever. Um, that's possible. Um, let's leave it on blue. And then you can also set the background, for example, to uh, a lighter gray if you want that. However, always remember these uh, codes, when they are scanned, it works on contrast. So if there's very low contrast, that might reduce the visibility or readability of the code quite considerably. And you might have to offset uh, this with the error correction level. Uh, 
in principle, you could even invert the, the, the QR code, but I doubt that it will be readable then. Next up, we have the corner radius. We can make basically make everything which has uh, rough uh, 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 right angular corners into some rounded corners. Uh, again, as I said before, there is a price to pay and that might be the readability. And again, you might have to offset this with uh, a higher error correction level. I quickly show you what a higher uh, error correction level uh, would look like. Let's just go to high so that you can really see the difference. Um, this actually repeats the information multiple times inside the, the QR code so that there is a higher chance to actually have a hit. Anyways, uh, you have to ha experiment because this is also dependent on uh, the amount of information in the QR code and of course its size. Let's set the corner radius back to zero and have a look at the next option. This is called quiet zone. And if I crank this up, you will see there is a blank area around the QR code, which is then called quiet zone. There is nothing in there. Okay, now let's have a look at the different label modes which we have. Uh, we have three. Uh, one is plain. There is, of course, no label then. Next up is label label mode. Uh, that means that we can display a text overlay. And the third one is image, where we have an image overlay. Okay, uh, let's just uh, switch over to label. And you will see there is this text, which we have here, being displayed across the QR code. Again, careful here, uh, this will reduce the readability and again, there is the error correction level which might uh, cure that problem. Anyways, there is also a label size which you can set. Uh, the default is 10% of the barcode size or the QR code size rather. And if I crank this up, you will see that it actually grows quite considerably. So depending on what the information you want to display, um, you want to, might want to set the label size differently. Next up, we have label position X and Y. X uh, sets the label position in the horizontal, like this here or that. And label Y, position Y, positions the label on the vertical axis, like this. Next, we have the label field. Here you can enter whatever you like, as long as it's text or a formula if you want that. Uh, and uh, you can also select different fonts. Unfortunately, since we are displaying things as an image or it is an option, we only have built-in fonts available here and it's serif, sans serif, monospace and something like fantasy. Let's, for example, set this to monospace and you see the change happening immediately. Next up, we have the option font outline. And as you can see, when, if I activate this, there will be a white outline around the text. The uh, outline itself will be chosen uh, from the background color, which you chose up here. Then you can change the label color so you're not stuck with this uh, beautiful orange, which I chose as a default. You can use any color from this color dropper and uh, we can, for example, use uh, this kind of blue or red. Okay, then I was talking about uh, the image mode. So let's uh, set this, uh, turn this image mode on. As you can see, you cannot see anything. This is because uh, the label image is not selected right now. However, I have already put something into our resources and let's go here. It is, as you can imagine, the platform uh, logo icon. And here, we is, here it is still set to that uh, awkward position which we had uh, set before. Let me just make it a little bit bigger that you can see it. And here it is roughly in the center. The label, the text label, of course, has disappeared because this, uh, this, these settings are exclusive. Um, there is another interesting option down here. 
and this is called draw image as code and that actually uh, as you can see uh, draws the image only on the dark areas of the QR code. So if we make this a little bit bigger you can see that the image actually repl replaces more and more of the dark area. Quite interesting uh, depending on the contrast again that might also reduce the readability uh, but uh, it also looks quite interesting. So there is lots of creative room for you to design your QR code according to your ideas. This basically is everything which we have to say about the QR code stack. Um, just let your creativity flow and um, use it wherever you see fit for uh, placing it on in your, inside your project. So I hope this uh, in, uh, video was uh, usable for you or gave you some uh, inside information. If yes, leave me a like, maybe subscribe even. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.